Hey guys, Dr. Kilfoyle here. Have an interesting video to show you today. Uh, this patient had obviously years of growth of his toenails with extensive onychomycosis. If I had to estimate, I'd say he could be close to five years of neglect. This patient is legally blind, he's rather elderly, and his daughter brought him in after seeing his feet for the first time in years. Patients who have problems like this typically aren't going to show people their feet, and that's how things like this happen. The patient's daughter will come home, or come come visit their parents, notice that their shoes are off, and be like, holy crap, Dad, what the heck is going on? We need to take you to the podiatrist. And so this happens actually a lot more often than you might think. Uh, but then I won't see this patient for another five years, and, you know, that's how it goes. So here I am, I'm using the burr to debride to the, the nails just a little bit to get me a little bit of a thinning uh, at this spot so it's easier for my nipper to actually work. So when I use the nipper, I can put a lot of torque on the nail, which would twist the nail and cause pain to the patient. By, by me using the burr and scoring it over the line that I anticipate uh, where I'm gonna be cutting, that makes it so it's easier for the patient. One other thing you might see me doing is I jump across different toes, if I'm, especially if I'm using the burr for too long on one toe, because you don't want to create any thermal injury to the patient, meaning I don't want to burn the patient by putting the, the burr on him for too long. So um, you see that dust is being sucked up by a vacuum tip that we have attached to the burr. Gets you know a majority of the dust. I'm really glad I'm wearing a mask here, obviously. Sonico debridement is the $5 word for removing the toenails of, uh, you know, that are too long. So, onychomycosis is typically caused by dermatophytic uh, fungal infections. We're going to be talking about this more in another video. Um, pretty much these, these fungus love to eat keratin that are in the, uh, the skin and the nails. And uh, this guy's definitely got a party going on in there. If there's any questions, comments, concerns, quibbles, smart remarks, please put them in the comments. Um, remember, every day is the best day of your life. And uh, like and subscribe for more content. We really appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you very much.